By now you'll be seeing a lot of other guardians reaching level 20 in Destiny. It was never intended to be too difficult a target to reach, meaning that new players would quickly be able to level up and join the friends on the higher level raids. But in an ever-growing pool of players reaching the soft level cap, how do you stand out? Well, one way to do just that is by changing the colour of your armour using armour dyes, known as shaders, to repaint your fairly standard and maybe a little mismatched gear into something a little more cohesive and flashy. So if you want to go ahead and do this, first things first, you must have got to level 20 to be able to do this. If you haven't quite got to the soft level cap yet, then I'm afraid that this won't be for you quite now. And although there are ways that you can get a hold of shaders before you get to that level, you won't be able to do anything with them. This is strictly a reward for getting to that max level. So if you have reached level 20, then there are a few different ways to get the style that you're looking for. Most shaders will be available to buy at one of the vendors in the tower, most reliably at the Outfitter, who we haven't had any problems with finding stock. The faction representatives will also be able to sell you a few shaders unique to them, although in this case you're much more likely to run into that old problem of stock just not being there when you want it, so keep checking. In addition to buying shaders at the tower for Marks and Glimmer, you can also get them as loot drops if you're extremely lucky. And we have seen a few of them show up as random rewards at the end of a match in the Crucible. If you're looking for something a little easier, then there are also a couple of cords that you can put into the Bungie website in order to unlock a few shaders. These are listed in our article, which you'll be able to find linked in the video description. Now that you've managed to get hold of a cool looking shader, you can equip it by heading into your inventory. And in the bottom screen, there's a section for shaders just below your emblem. Don't worry too much about what armour you use the shader on, as you'll be able to remove and reuse the shader as much as you like. It works just the same way that your emblem does, and isn't consumed when you apply it. Unfortunately there are a couple of limitations to the shaders, a big one being that you can only apply one shader to your entire loadout. You can't add them to individual pieces of gear, which is kind of sad because I'm sure we'll end up seeing some awesome creations. Also, you may find that your armour doesn't look quite right after you've applied the shader. That might be because some of your gear is incompatible with shaders. There doesn't seem to be a definite rule about what you can apply a shader to, but as a general rule you'll see the best effect on uncommon level gear. And there you have it, enjoy taking on the galaxy as a unique and powerful looking guardian, or even gather up with your clan and look like a real team. Good luck out there, and make sure you visit TradeInDetectives.com for more Destiny hints and tips.